So in this video, we're going to look in detail at how to place sounds in the DAW uh, using the fit media uh, function in your sketch. Uh, we'll also look at a few other uh, important uh, functions in your sketch in, in terms of setting up uh, uh, our projects uh, for algorithm and composition. Uh, and we'll talk about how EarSketch represents musical time and how it represents sound files and how we can use uh, both the sound files that are bundled with EarSketch as well as our own sounds uh, in our Python code. Uh, so I want to start off by looking at this, this basic template here of how every uh, EarSketch Python script is going to look from now on. Um, we know, uh, of course, about the first line from EarSketch import star that imports the EarSketch API into our Python script because we were using that in, in all of our uh, code in, uh, in module four as well. Uh, the next line here uh, has to be the, the next line that appears in your code. Um, uh, in it, uh, it's a function that does not take any parameters. You just have an, an open and closed parentheses, and, and that's it to indicate there's no parameters. And this actually opens a new project uh, so that you can kind of start with a blank slate. Uh, and then after that, we, uh, we set our tempo uh, in beats per minute the same way we would if we were doing this in the GUI. Um, uh, so here I'm setting it to 120 BPM. Uh, it's important to do that before you do anything else in your project, because uh, if you remember all the way back to module two, um, we, when we were dragging uh, uh, files onto our, uh, into the DAW manually, um, it, would, uh, it would try to auto-scale them uh, either by, by beat detection or uh, uh, through looking at the metadata like in our acidized wave files uh, to whatever the tempo might be in our project. Uh, but it would only do that with the tempo as it was set at that moment. So it's important that we set the tempo to whatever we want at the beginning before we start putting sound files in if we want them to, to, to snap to that tempo and scale automatically. Uh, then we make our music, uh, which is obviously a, a kind of the hard part there, but th that's what we'll be getting into uh, uh, moving forward. And then when, we, when we're done, we call finish, uh, which also has no uh, function parameters. This has to be the last uh, function that we call in our script uh, to kind of clean up things uh, and make sure that it's ready to play. Uh, so for making music, uh, uh, the most important function that we can look at is fit media. Uh, and we saw this a little bit in the last video, but I want to get into it in, in more detail here. Uh, so fit media takes four parameters. Um, the uh, sound file that we want to put onto, uh, uh, onto our, our, our timeline, uh, the track that we want to add it to, uh, and then the, uh, the time that we want it to start and the time that we want it to end. Um, and Fit Media will, uh, will make this last as long as is necessary to fill that time. Uh, if you remember when, when we were working in the, 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 the DAW uh, with the, the graphical interface, uh, and we would move the mouse pointer to the, uh, the far right edge of the sound, it turned into that kind of double arrow, and we could drag it uh, back and forth to extend the duration of the sound file by looping it. Uh, so Fit Media uses the exact same technique, uh, but in code. Uh, and so uh, the track is just a track number here. So uh, you know, track one, track two, track three. And if the track doesn't exist yet, it'll automatically be created uh, for you when you make this function call. Uh, so that's pretty easy. Uh, what we really need to talk about now is about uh, sound and about uh, how to specify our times uh, in EarSketch. So let's talk about this first question of how to get sounds into EarSketch. Um, as we saw uh, in the, the, our first EarSketch script, uh, every sound from the EarSketch sound library is referenced by a sound constant. Um, so what I want to show you now is uh, how to find those sound constants uh, and use them in your code through the EarSketch audio loop browser. Uh, and then I'll also show you how to bring your own sounds into EarSketch if you want to use ones that aren't part of the uh, EarSketch sound library. So let's go straight over to uh, our web browser here. And you can see when we're in the code editing view, we have access to a sound browser here. And we have the same folders uh, that we uh, have seen before, Young Guru and Richard Devine. So I can click on one of those, um, like Richard Devine, and I can go, say, to 8-bit, uh, and I can go to 8-bit uh, Atari lead, and then I have all these different sounds. If I hit preview on one of them, I can hear what it sounds like. And then if uh, I want to hear it at a different tempo, I can slide my tempo bar uh, so I can hear it a little bit faster, say at 120 BPM. And then uh, once I've found a sound that I'm happy with, uh, I can just use it uh, directly in here. So I'll start typing my fit media command. And I need to punch in the sound now, so I'm just going to hit the paste button here. 
and it pastes that constant name in right for me. So this is the constant name, the one I see here. Uh, I could just select it and copy and paste it, but it's a little easier usually to just hit the paste button. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and finish this up. I'll give it a track number one and starting measure one and an ending measure five. And then I can go ahead and hit run script, switch to our workstation view, and you'll see that the sound has appeared here. But now what if I want to bring in one of my own sounds into EarSketch? Um, I need to get them into this user sounds folder. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go over to uh, Reaper here, and I'm going to go ahead and record a sound in Reaper. Um, so uh, I've got a little headset here I can use for recording. And I've got my metronome who's going to do a little count off for me. Uh, and uh, I'll go ahead and record this. La. La, 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 la. Okay, and I'll go ahead and save that. So you can see I really just recorded uh, from the beginning of measure one to the beginning of measure three, uh, but my recording went on a little longer before I got a chance to hit the stop button. So um, I need to turn this into a wave file that I can bring into EarSketch, but I just want those first two measures to be part of it. So I'm going to use the render feature in Reaper uh, but I'm going to just select the part that I actually want to render. So I just went and I selected just those first uh, two measures, from measure one to the beginning of measure three. And then, just like we did in project uh, in module two, I can go to the render menu, and I uh, can pick what I want to render here. And here I can just say time selection, and then it'll just render the part that uh, I selected with my cursor before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head and uh, put this on the desktop. So I can find it really easily later, and I'll give it a a, a name like a demo recording. Uh, I want to make sure it's a WAV file. I'm going to go ahead and do this as 16-bit here, and uh, then I can hit that render one file button, and I should be good to go. It's all finished, and go back to uh, my web browser now to EarSketch, and I can hit the upload new sounds button, uh, and then I can choose that WAV file that I just recorded, demo recording. Dot wave. And then uh, I need to give it a name, and this is a constant, so it's going to be all caps, like all constants in Python are. So I'll call it demo underscore recording. Uh, and then if you know the tempo of it, it's really important to type that tempo in. So I know I recorded it with the metronome at 120 beats per minute, so I'm going to punch in 120. And the reason this is important to put in if you know it is that if you put that in, then uh, uh, your sketch can scale the, the, the speed of your uh, uh, file to whatever you specify and set tempo, and it will stay in sync with any of the other sounds you're using in your project. If you leave it blank, it's okay. It's not going to give you an error or anything, uh, but it'll just always play it back at the original speed. Um, and that can work well in some cases, like if there's a sound effect or a one-shot drum hit or something like that that you want to use. But if it's a longer thing that really has a clear uh, uh, beat to it, uh, if at all possible, you want to be able to type in that tempo. Uh, and then I just hit Upload Selected Sound File. And now if I go to my User Sounds folder, you can see my demo recording is there. I can go ahead and preview it. La, 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 la. And I can go ahead and uh, I'll delete that Richard Devine sound and I'll paste in my demo recording instead. I can hit Run Script and I can listen to it. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. And then if I wanted to change the tempo of that, since I did give the tempo of that sound file, if I want to do it at, say, 168, uh, uh, instead, it'll automatically scale the speed of that playback. La, 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 la. Now, uh, we need to talk about musical time in your sketch and how it's represented so that we can give a start time and an end time to, uh, to the fit media uh, uh, function. And so uh, in your sketch, whole numbers are, uh, uh, are, are they represent measures. Uh, so uh, a 1.0 would represent uh, measure one uh, and beat one, so the very beginning of measure one. Uh, and then the fractions, uh, the decimal portions of, uh, of a number represent the percentage within a measure that we're located. Uh, so in other words, if we're in a, a four, four times, so four beats per measure, um, Beat one is going to be uh, uh, um, beat one uh, is going to be uh, 
uh, right at the beginning of the measure, so we do 1.0. Um, beat 2 is going to be 25% of the way through the measure, so we do 1.25. Beat 3 is going to be 50% of the way through. Beat 4 is going to be 75% uh, of the way through. Uh, and then if I want to do measure 2, uh, beat 1, then it's 2.0, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, it's fairly intuitive to figure out uh, uh, any location you want, uh, and you're obviously not restricted to just the beginnings of beats. You can put uh, things at, at arbitrary locations. Uh, but if you're in 4-4 time and you want to do uh, uh, just on the beats, it's always uh, 0 0.0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, uh, and 0.75. Uh, so now that we've looked at time and, and sounds in your sketch, uh, we're ready to take uh, this function uh, definition and, uh, and actually write something specific. So I can put in this 8-bit Atari lead uh, 001 as our sound that we copied and pasted from the EarSketch sound browser. I can have it go on track one, starting at measure one and ending at measure four, beat three. Uh, that point five is for the beat three. So now let's review this all one more time and make a, a ear sketch script from scratch that uses Fit Media. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open a new script. And you can see when I put in a new script, I get a lot of uh, kind of basic uh, template code provided for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some information in the comments here. Um, I call this uh, a Fit Media demo, uh, and the author is, of course, me. And a description is just going to be a simple demo of fit media. Um, then you can see we already have our From Your Sketch import star line here, um, and our init to make a new uh, music project, and we set our tempo to 120. Maybe I'll change the tempo just because I'm getting bored of 120, make it 132. Um, and then I'm going to type in fit media, parentheses, and then I'll find the sound I want to use. Um, the Richard Devine 8-bit uh, Atari lead one. So I'll paste that in. Put it on track one, starting at measure one, and ending at measure four, beat three. So that point five gets me halfway through uh, measure four. Uh, and then finish was already in there as well. So now I can just hit run script, ran successfully, and I can listen to what I did. And you can hear how it cut off in the middle of measure four, like I asked it to. So what we've covered in this video uh, is this basic template of uh, importing ear sketch uh, in its set tempo uh, and finish uh, that's necessary for all of our Python scripts. Uh, and then we've looked at the fit media function in detail, uh, and particularly looked at how uh, we specify sounds that we want uh, to use uh, through sound constants in the ear sketch audio loop browser, uh, and then uh, how we represent time in music. Uh, as a floating point number where the whole portion represents the measure and the decimal portion represents the, uh, uh, the percentage uh, within the measure where, where, where we want to be. Uh, what we're going to do next is look at the makebeat function uh, to see how we can do pattern sequencing with your sketch.